Let's have a look at question 12 in this video. So we want to calculate the variance of x plus y. Now this is going to be a slightly long question, so we're going to solve it in several videos. Now let's write, let's write the formula that we're looking for to understand the data that we must calculate. So the variance of x plus y, given that they are dependent, since we found out in the previous video, is equal to the variance of x plus the variance of y plus 2 times the correlation between them times the standard deviation of x, so the standard deviation of x, times the standard deviation of y. Now, what's the fastest thing that we can find? So what do we have almost done? Well, we have the variance of x, and the standard deviation of x is just the square root of the variance. We calculated the variance of x from before, that that's 0 0.21. So with that in mind, we could calculate the standard deviation of x. The standard deviation of x is equal to the square root of the variance of x, so is equal to the square root of the variance of x and that's equal to the square root of 0 0.21 square root of 0 0.21 and that's equal to 0 0.46 so one data we found 0 0.46 now what we can also do pretty fast is to find out the standard deviation of y how do we do that same way we did for x we found the variance of x first sorry we, ha we, we find the variance of y first and then the standard deviation of y is going to be the square root of it how do we find the variance of y? Well, by using the exact same method. That's going to be, let's just write here right next to it because we have the data in front of us. The, uh, the variance of y, so the variance of y is equal to the expected value of y square minus the expected value of y to the power of 2. To the power of 2. Let's see what that's going to be. So we have here, we have here the expected value of y uh, that's 0 0.5 probability times the value of 1 to the power of 2 0 0.5 times 1 to the power of 2 because we're using the value of y to the power of 2 plus this probability of 0 0.5 0 0.5 times the other value to the power of 2 y equals to 2 to the power of 2 so that's 2 square minus the expected value of y everything to the power of 2 so we're doing the regular expected value of y which is 0 0.5 times 1 plus 0 0.5 times 2 take all of this to the power of 2 now if we calculate the math over here if we calculate the math we will find out that the variance of y is equal to uh, 0 0.25 0 0.25 and if that's the variance of y which we need also to use the standard deviation of y is the square root of it the standard deviation of y is the square root of 0 0.25 and that's equal to 0 0.5 so that's 0 uh, 0.5 so we found out two pieces of data, the standard deviation of y, the variance of y. What else do we need now? What else are we left with? The correlation, and that's going to be the hardest thing to find. Now, how do we calculate the correlation? Well, to calculate the correlation, we're going to use the covariance. Since the variables depend on each other, they vary together. In other words, they, they don't move in different directions randomly they move in a specific pattern that's why they literally vary together aka they co-vary so let me just write it here like that since since the variables are dependent the variables are dependent dependent they vary together they vary together so we must calculate now the covariance we must calculate now the covariance. Let's just write the formula for the covariance that we're going to use and we're going to calculate it in the next video. So the covariance between x and y, the covariance between x and y is going to be equal to this sum, this sum of the following of the following product. The difference between the x values from the expected value of x, from the expected value of x, multiplied with the difference between the y values from the expected value of y multiplied multiplied with the multiplied with the correlation of x and y so multiplied with the correlation of x and y and we'll see how this works out in the next video